25 famous quotes of John Locke. The, the discipline of desire is the background of character. What worries you, masters you. Government has no other end, but the preservation of property. As people are walking all the time, in the same spot, a path appears. The only fence against the world is a thorough knowledge of it. Things of this world are in so constant a flux that nothing remains long in the same state. Where there is no property there is no injustice. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. Where all is but dream, reasoning and arguments are of no use, truth and knowledge nothing. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge, it is thinking that makes what we read ours. Our incomes are like our shoes. If too small, they gall and pinch us, but if too large, they cause us to stumble and to trip. Fortitude is the guard and support of the other virtues. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. The reason why men enter into society is the preservation of their property. Reverie is when ideas float in our mind without reflection or regard of the understanding. It is of great use to the sailor to know the length of his line, though he cannot with it fathom all the depths of the ocean. The dread of evil is a much more forcible principle of human actions than the prospect of good. Anyone reflecting upon the thought he has of the delight, which any present or absent thing is apt to produce in him, has the idea we call love. I have spent more than half a lifetime trying to express the tragic moment. An excellent man, like precious metal, is in every way invariable, a villain, like the beams of a balance, is always varying, upwards and downwards. The improvement of understanding is for two ends. First, our own increase of knowledge. Secondly, to enable us to deliver that knowledge to others. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. There is frequently more to be learned from the unexpected questions of a child than the discourses of men. To love our neighbor as ourselves is such a truth for regulating human society, that by that alone one might determine all the cases in social morality.